It's going to sound so cliche, uh, the fact that we've become a family, but it, it has actually more of a fraternity. The camaraderie on the show is just, it's, it's, an, it's intense. It's amazing. Um, I remember in Chicago, we used to go out and, you know, have a great time and, uh, you know, pretty much ripped Chicago to shreds. I'm glad that we left and had a chance to rip Dallas to shreds. And now it's uh, it, just, just to see everyone's faces getting back to the set. It's, uh, it was really great. Really, really great. I miss the crew. I miss the crew. I've said it. A, I've said it a hundred times in the last few years that never once, when the alarm went off, no matter where Dallas here, that I, that I ever mind, you know, hopping up 4:30, 5 o'clock, whatever, and I'm going to see this group of people, this crew, and I, I miss that. I miss that. Seven o'clock in the morning, we're all in the trailer, makeup trailer, you know, talking, coming from a whole long weekend or something, and just catching up while. Somebody's doing their hair, somebody's doing makeup, somebody's getting shaved. You know, it, it was one of the things of our all together talking about catching up and, you know, being able to act with an amazing cast. This is one of the things that helped me. And again, we all brought our A game and you needed to be on top of your game. I, I was very blessed to be in a show with such an amazing actors, you know. Hungry. After all I've been through with you, now you're worried about my ass? Then shut up and drive, okay? I've definitely become a more uh, confident actor, and I think I've also become or learned a lot of lessons about what it is to be a, a leader. So now, moving away from this project, I feel like um, I've matured in a thousand ways, thanks to the experience as a whole, on camera and off.